Welcome to Roblox Game Tutorials video number one, getting started with the basics. My name is Captain Lettuce and I'll be guiding you through this tutorial. So first thing we're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio and come up here to the top right and click login. Log into your Roblox account. Oops. Alright, cool. When you're all logged in and everything, you're going to want to come over to base plate. Alright, so now we've started our first world. You can move around your world by clicking WSAD on your keyboard. You can rotate the camera with the right mouse button of your mouse, of course. Um, you can move up and down using Q and E. And you can scroll in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Alright, so let's just take a quick look around Studio for a sec. So the first thing you're going to see uh, is this big menu here in the middle. So this is your workspace. This is where you can see everything in your world, where all your parts will be, all the terrain, all the effects. If we come over to the left side, this is our toolbox. Um, you can use, in the toolbox, um, other Roblox members have created free models for us to use. So in order to insert one into your game, you just click down on the one you want and drag it in wherever you want it. You can also search some. Uh, let's search a gun. Cool, an AK-47. Let's drag that into the game. And you can see, we now have an AK-47 in our game. <clears throat> Alright, and now we have the advanced objects. For now, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, we'll cover that later. We have the game menu. Also, right now, don't worry about it. Down here, we have our output menu. Don't worry about that either. Or, no, we'll cover that later on today. Uh, we have our properties menu. So if we come to a world, right click, and go down to insert part, we can see that this menu now loads a whole bunch of properties related to this brick. Up here in the explorer menu, you can see everything that's currently in your game. And here, like I said, workspace. Everything that you can see in this screen here, the middle one, will be in your workspace. All right, so if we click our part, well, also if you don't see some of these menus, just come up here to view, and then you can click the ones that you want. So you're gonna want your game explorer, toolbox, output, and command bar visible. Don't worry about anything else, really, not yet. All right, come back to home, click your part, and now we're gonna play around with some of the properties to get used to bricks in Roblox Studio. So we have our brick color. We can change the brick color to whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Let's make it a, a blue. I like blue. Alright. Um, we can change the material of our brick. Um, let's make it metal. Yeah. We can change the reflectance of our brick. So the more reflectant it is, the more it looks like our sky. Some materials don't really have it, like this metal one, but if we come back down here to our materials and choose smooth plastic, we can see the more uh, reflectance gets closer to one, the more it looks like our sky. And now we can play with transparency. Um, the closer transparency gets to one, the more see-through your brick becomes, and the less it is, the more solid your brick is. Um, we can just skip over everything in data, we'll cover that later. But behavior, uh, if you don't want your brick to move when your game starts, you're going to want to anchor it in place. Um, we can test that quickly. If you come up here to the top left and click move, you'll see that some arrows appear around your brick. Grab the green one and drag it up. Make sure anchored is not selected. Now come up to the top here again. Click test. Click the arrow under play and click play here. You see when the game starts your brick fell to the earth. Now come up here again, click stop. And now if we check anchored and play again, the brick just stays there. Cool. Um, we have archivable, don't worry about that. Can collide, if this is not checked and you walk into your brick, you'll just simply go through it. But if it is checked, you will collide with it like a normal brick. 
don't worry about locked right now and don't worry about anything here surface um, if we want our surface to look smooth we can change our top surface down here to smooth and our bottom surface also to smooth cool now we have a smooth brick click your brick and drag it back down to the ground go back to home click scale now click your brick and we're gonna scroll down to where it says size in the properties menu and we're gonna move this blue arrow until the two down here turns into a four there we go so now we have a brick with the size 414 alright uh, we're gonna remove these for now we don't need them so just highlight over them and click X also if you ever make a mistake you can just click control Z and that will undo or control Y to redo all right, so if we come back to our part, click it. We can see over the Explorer menu, it highlighted a brick so we can easily find it. We're gonna right click it, come down to Insert Object, come down to Script, and cool. We just put it in our first script. So right now you can see how it says Print Hello World. That's not gonna do very much. When the game starts, all it's gonna do is uh, put Hello World down in this output box. Actually, let's make this bigger for you guys so you guys can see it better. So if we come back to base plate here, click test, play here. We can see down here it says print hello world. Cool. Let's highlight that and backspace it out. We don't need it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, make a variable. So what a variable is, it's a word that can store a value. So to make a variable, we're going to type local. We're going to write the variable name. In this case, it's going to be part. And the variable is going to be equaled to script.parent. So we just create a variable. So our variable name is part. It's equaled to script.parent. So the script is, if you come over to the Explorer menu, is our script that we inserted. And its parent is whatever the script is inside of. So our script parent is the part and the parts parent would be the workspace because the part is in the workspace and the script is in the part. If we come down a few lines, write while true do down and it's gonna, auto, it's gonna auto put an end there for you. You're gonna wanna write wait one. So it's gonna wait one second and then we're gonna do part dot brick color equals brick color dot random so what this can do is while the game is running it's gonna wait one second and then it's gonna change the parts brick color to a random brick color so if we come to the part in Explorer we can see that it has a brick color property so we're accessing that property by saying part and remember the part is the script dot parent so the script dot parent is the part and the part has the property brick color and we change, we're changing it to a random brick color. You can change any property. You can change the material using this method, the transparency, the name. All right, so every one second, it's gonna change the brick color. So let's test that. Come up here to play here, and every one second, we see that it changes the brick color to a random brick color. Awesome. You guys just created your first script. If we wanna, make it even more fancy we can come down one line and type print no. we want to make it even more fancy we can come up here beside the one enter and we're going to make another variable this one's going to be called local uh, part color and we're going to set this to brick color dot random so now we're going to want to set this part color or the brick color for the part to this part color variable alright so every one second it's going to create a new random brick color and then it's going to change the parts brick color to that part color we're also going to print the brick color so we're going to type print parts color 
All right, let's test this. So every one second, it makes a new brick color and it also tells us down here what that brick color is. Awesome. Nothing fancy. We'll get into more uh, advanced stuff next week. But for now, have fun coding. This week's scripting challenge is to make a dance floor. The best dance floor will get shown on the channel next week and the creator will get a shout out. <laughs>